Yo, what's up guys? My name is AFC Adinho, bringing you the guy most of you have been waiting for. Uh, basically, it's a routine uh, to get to level 80 in Kanto. Um, this will allow you to go to your Nova, but also go to the Savvy Islands, which is also important if you want to get your own Latios or Latias without buying it. So basically getting your OT. Um, to be able to do this routine though, uh, you must have completed uh, the Cerulean, Cerulean Valley quest. Uh, I did made a video, make a video about it recently uh, on how to do it, so check it out if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, um, let's go over the routine. As you can see, we are currently level 75. Uh, I, by the way, pre-recorded uh, the footage you're about to see. Um, but sometimes I will pause the video, which makes it easier to explain certain things. Um, but we are level 75, we have a bit of XP. And doing this routine will uh, get you about a full level. And remember, this is without doing the bounties, because I despise doing those bounties. Uh, they are really not real rewarding unless you really want to grind as much as possible and doing them but uh considering your time and effort uh, it doesn't even give you a lot of xp doesn't give you any good items gives you very little amount of money it's just not worth my time i'd rather just pvp than do those bounties <laughs> but you could do those bounties to uh to increase uh, the amount of t uh, the amount of XP and shorten the time, but yeah, like I said, considering the time and effort, I don't think those bounties are worth it. But yeah, feel free if you want. Anyway, uh, let's start. So we start in Vermilion City. Uh, there's a lot of daily NPCs to be done here. Uh, by the way, I'm recording. I'm doing this run with Radium 88, so there will be a lot of footage where I uh, will be a lot of footage cut um, because I had to wait on him a few times. But yeah, I usually check out these two NPCs first. Uh, whenever they catch a uh, Feebas or something, they will battle you. Um, but very rarely, but it's always good to check them out. Um, as you could have seen, Radium was able to battle uh, one of them, um, but I wasn't. <laughs> anyway, on Route 11, there are three NPCs which you can battle daily. Um, usually, I Engineer Bernie is one of them, but I usually do Dylan first. And these are trainers. At the moment, they are low level, but every time you do them, their level increases, which means they're xp gains from them increase as well but yeah as you can see he's using a level 68 sandstrom uh, the more you do them uh, the higher they become i believe they will get to level 90 at one point so yeah yeah i click sport i'm also trained i was also training this breloom that's level 48 now uh, I'd, I'd like training some lower level mods uh, while doing these type of things uh, it's always good to have some extra high level mods uh, just in case for events and stuff. But yeah. So we knock out his last mon. As you can see, 68 XP. That can go up to 90 or something. Um, if you have done them a couple of times. And I think each one of them gives the same amount. So Yasu is the next one. I'm also struggling with a cough, so... <coughs> Don't mind me. I still feel a bit sick, um, but I really wanted to uh, release this video. But yeah, luckily the, the Pokemon on this route are not really that strong, so you could afford to use a few lower level mods. I still knocked them out, as you can see with this Breloom. Oh, he actually gets 69, <laughs> the magical number. And now we battle Bernie. But I guess you could do Bernie as well at first. Um, yeah. When if whenever he sees me, um, I'll just battle him. But I don't know. Whereas I will skip him to 
at last. Yeah, uh, the abilities of these Magnemites are not always the same. Uh, sometimes they're sturdy, sometimes they're not. But this guy has two Magnemites and one Magneton. Could be that they all have sturdy as well, but it's not always the same. Uh, I prefer them not being sturdy, obviously, because then it goes a bit faster. I'd seen both of the Magnemites were sturdy uh, at the time. Yeah, pretty similar XP, so roughly 200 XP when you do all of them together. Ah, oh, actually all of them were sturdy. That's <laughs> that was anno that's annoying. Um, yeah. The 68, 69. Uh, we don't need a Nemec punch. Yeah, and he gets 67, I see. So now uh, we come down here. I usually don't use a repel here, but yeah, just for the sake of the video. Um, here is also where I cut out a part waiting for radium. <laughs> yeah, you go down here and then you go to the left. And there's um, there's a daily NPC as well. But uh, this one uses a very low level mods, as you can see, level 20. And the trainers on Route 11 were also daily NPCs. But you can do them every day after the daily reset. And this one gives 65, which is also really decent. Considering how easy it's to beat. Derek is also a daily NPC. And we just knocked this out as well. By the way, I also decided not to uh, fast forward anything. Uh, just to give you guys an idea on what to do. And you can also decide to do the run uh, while watching this video, of course. Yeah, that one gave 65 XP as well. And you have Dirty Dave. Also a daily NPC. Everything you're about to see, by the way, is daily. But yeah, uh, this Judo could have sturdy. Yep. <laughs> That's the only maybe if maybe if you really want to do it really fast, you, you can bring Mole Breaker, Hexorus, or Excadrill. So you don't have to do it with sturdy. But like I said, I like training the lower level mods. Even though against this, it won't really matter because you won't get much XP since they're low level. So maybe to save time, you could use a Mole Breaker one which ignores sturdy. Yeah, we knocked this out, and now we actually go a bit back because there was still one place we. Uh, I was, I would still recommend doing it in this order because you're about to see. Uh, here I had to skip a part as well uh, because Radium was still battling. Okay, guys, there was this little update uh, we, in which the developers added some new NPCs uh, to battle in Kanto, uh, but they did it after I was recording the footage uh, you saw earlier. Uh, from my canto routine um, but I'm just gonna edit this in I'm gonna show you guys uh, let's just go right into it um, you have to go back to Dirty Dave and now uh, this used to didn't used to be here but now there's a path uh, which can let you advance uh, to this hockey arena or this hockey field and on the field there are two NPCs and um there's also a coach NPC you can battle. So the first one is Ron. Uh, I already did it with my other account. I only screenshotted the XP gains. Um, but it took me really long because I had different... I didn't have good mods on the account I was uh, using because... Um, these guys are pretty high level. So keep that in mind. So Ron is one of the NPCs you can battle. And now I'm on the other account, they were like level 80, but because I'm level 100, maybe they go off my trainer level. Anyway, this is a bug type, so we can just flamethrower this. <laughs> yeah, 
and this is a rock type slash bug type um i think i'm sorry is fine as well it most likely has sturdy yep all these npcs have to, uh citrus berries but he goes for a rock polish is he still faster no <laughs> i'm still faster cool so that's the first one i believe this one gave 50 xp uh, obviously because i'm level 100 it doesn't show and then you have wong as one of the npcs you can battle as well get off the field and he battles you he goes for sucker punch doesn't do much damage uh, obviously he's not ev trained i think because otherwise he would do more damage Radicate coming in going for our strongest attack should knock him out should knock him out and then we have the Rattata again. Kind of similar to the NPC on Route 11. So we knock this out. He goes for Sucker Punch again. Getting some chip, which is annoying. But yeah. I believe this one gave like 75 XP. Um, I'll edit the screenshot in somewhere. Um, of the XP gain I got earlier. And now we have Coach Matt. Uh, Matt Han. Um, this will be similar to um, battling the Roots of Evil boss. Uh, it's a three on three battle. And first, his first three months are high 60s. And then his other two are close to 80 or 80 itself. But yeah. Um... Oh, wait. Yeah, they are going up the trainer level. So because I'm level 100, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> um, that makes it a bit different. So what do we do? We ice beam that guy. I'm gonna go for SD. The intimidate luckily didn't hit my toxic rogue, so we can drain punch this. I really didn't expect them to be this high level, but because on, on the other account they were like that. Uh, but they are just going off the trainer level, I guess. So he goes for dig. I get the SD. Sludge bomb incoming. Lucario coming in. I can actually switch out my Nido King here. And go into my Dragonite and click Earthquake. I think Nido King is more useful. And then we just poison jab that guy. Or I don't have Sucker Punch still poison jab him so i'll essentially be killing my own toxic rock off uh, but i got a plus one earthquake off oh my my glass is actually slower okay that's cool i get the earthquake off and it should kill this guy at least and the lucario crocodile's gonna live yeah he intimidated me so i was only a plus one And I can bring in my Needle King. As Dragonite is coming in. Um, but I can just attack with this guy. Click Facade on him. And Ice Beam should knock out the Dragonite. So I'm knocking him out. And I believe this one gave, gave like 90 XP. Um, but I'll send the screenshot. Maybe it gives more XP the higher level it is. Cannot confirm it because it's a pretty new NPC. Uh, they added it like two days ago. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna edit this part into the original video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. By the way guys, uh, to confirm, uh, this is a daily thing. Uh, you can just talk with this guy and he says come back tomorrow. So I... I assume uh, you just you can just battle him again. So add this to the daily routine as well, and yeah, it's, it will even get you closer to level 80. Um, yeah, uh, let's hop right into the other video. <laughs> yeah, could be faster if I do it alone, obviously, but it's more fun doing it together like this. But first, we go inside this house and talk with Farmer Jerome. 
because he has a little quest for you which gives you 70 xp and it's not even difficult to do uh and you're going to that place anyway so might as well activate this quest and get some free 70 xp so we go to the grass field over here pop our repel and we are going to talk to these yellow corn thingies and that's basically all you have to do you have to collect 17 17 in total there are always on the same place so uh, um, it's really easy to remember yeah i had to skip a part as well to get that radium catch up a bit um so take these coins and then you have the npc fill up which you can battle as well as a daily npc so doing everything on a route you know so now we battle him so there are eight coins on this side and the other uh, nine are on the other side yeah he's also using low level mods just knock this out and this one gives us 65 a bit less than the others but yeah. i would just walk back go to the other cross field over here and pick up the remaining corns and meanwhile like i said i need to take some sip of water we'll take these corns and yeah those last two should be 17 as you can see we have 15 16 it's gonna be 17 and now you can just press go to which walks you automatically to the farm uh, when you're using a normal rappel though yeah <laughs> um on the last few steps uh, it will turn off but yeah now as you can see we we'll talk with him 70 xp 1.7k also not bad so there's a bit of money as well to gain from doing all this but that's basically everything on vermilion city so now what we are going to do we're going to fly to route 10 and we're going to surf towards the cerulean valley and this is why it's important to have done the quest uh before doing this routine because there are a lot of daily things to do on cerulean valley i also went to the poke center you don't have to um, i'm gonna pop the repel or i was popping the repel here um just for the sake of the video usually i don't pop the max repel there usually when i walk here i use the normal repel because that will give you enough steps to get to cerulean silly Cer cerulean valley <laughs> yeah uh on this water uh, there are actually two swimmers and both of them give 150 xp each meaning you gain 300 xp and it's a daily thing as well and those battles are not even difficult so i also recommend doing those because they are part of the routine so swimmer annie amy swimmer amy we're doing her every day boys <laughs> no pun intended anyway also low level monster uh, yeah, i usually use Breloom uh because i kind of want to train up this Breloom. Uh, yeah Breloom should be able to knock out everything also nice maybe if you want to ev train uh because you can just use the power item and those trainers in Vermilion City use Pokemon that are around level 20, so might be nice uh, while doing it anyway uh, to EV train them as well. That's usually what I did when I was doing the Unova bounties to get to level 100. EV train along the way. Yeah, see, as you can see, 150 XP. Then we have Swimmer Alex. And he's using weak low level mounts as well. But he should give 150 XP. And remember, we started at level 75 and a bit. Um, so just keep the, keep looking at it uh, while we are completing daily NPCs.
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's also nice to use mods with lo a lot of PP. So that's the last one, and as you can see, it's going to be 150 XP. So same as you got from Amy. Then we go towards the silent. And when we'll end up going north here. And we're going to do the root of evil boss. And that's why you must have done uh the Cerulean Valley quest first. Otherwise you can't. <laughs> And instead of going through the cave, you can just go down there uh, after you completed the quest for the first time. And here, uh, let me pause it for a second. Um, this will be, this will always be the same for you, but it will be different per player. So the order will be different per player. So I re recommend uh, when you're doing it for the first time uh, to write it down somewhere and keep doing it till it becomes muscle memory. Uh, but as you can see, this is the order for me. Uh, when I did the, qu did the quest myself. And it will always be the same for me. But it will different will be different for you. Um, but you will always have the same order. Like I said. So yeah. So knowing this. That one. And yeah, seriously, when you've done this a, a, a couple of times, uh, I, I, it will just become muscle memory and you can do this without looking at the picture or the notes uh, you have for this. Yeah, yeah, those are all six, and the seventh is obviously the the doorway. Well, you click it, go inside. And there you have the root of evil boss. Uh, make sure to put some strong mounts at the front, because it's a three versus three battle. I really love Nido King uh, here because of because of the coverage. But yeah, um, you talk with him, but let me pause it here because uh, I made a little mistake. I actually didn't know about this. Uh, but yeah, the um, Root of Evil boss gives you three options. The green one is the most easiest battle, and the red one is the most difficult one. Uh, he's, he will use higher level mods, but he will also use more Pokemon. So if you really want to do this fast, choose the green one because they will have all of them will give the same amount of XP being 160. So um, maybe if you want to train your mods to a higher level, maybe you doing the red one is better. But if you want to do this fast, I uh, just choose the green one because it will give you 160. The red one will give you 160. Uh, basically same thing and uh, the red one will you have you have to f uh, battle six Pokemon when you choose the red one if you choose the green one you will only have to battle four months uh, so you save a lot of time here and as you can see uh, doesn't go smoothly for me uh, he always uses different months as well but yeah choose the green one I chose the red one uh, yeah now you guys know as well um, yeah, this is why I love Nido King. He uses a lot of ground types, steel types. Which Nido King has super effective moves for. I was kind of sad that they focused my Nido. Then the Galate could have obviously killed it as well. Yeah, and as you can see, I have to battle against six months. If I if we chose the green one, it would have only been four. And the Pokemon, if you choose the green one, the Pokemon you will start out with are somewhere around 50. 
at least the first three one. Uh, the last three one are over 80 and when you choose the red one the most difficult one i believe there will be like 68 or something when you choose the green one yeah that's what i did after i actually knew know uh, knew about it kind of sad that he had to mock punch me <laughs> Because that, mean, that meant I mi missed out on a kill. And this was a bit of... This is why it was a bit rough for me. Because a <laughs> glass car was on the other side while being swords danced up. And yeah, the other three remaining mods are pretty weak. Let me actually move the camera so you can see what kind of level the Mammoth Swine is. See, it's level 80. Here, by the way, I found out about a trick. You saw me, uh, you saw me switch, right? You saw me switch my Dragonite to this position while I chose to go for Fly. Uh, on the next turn, you're going to see that my Dragonite actually hits the Mammoth Shrine from there. Uh, I think there's there's a little interaction when you switch and attack, it will still go through. But we'll see. I don't know if that works like that, but I thought it was pretty cool. See, I, I click fly. Uh, my facade doesn't kill him, even though it crits and he pops the Caesar's Berry. And then my Dragonite from over there hits him with fly, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so now we leave uh, this tomb. See, we got 160 XP. But if you choose the green one, you'll get the same XP. I hope I emphasized it <laughs> uh, enough. But yeah. But this could have been way faster if we chose the green option. So, I, here I thought about that small entry, so you don't have to walk through the grass and waste your rappel there. <laughs> and here we're, we are going to pop our rappel. We'll walk down to the lighthouse. However, um, when, when, when walking down, uh, make sure to talk with this guy Mick. Because he will activate a, a daily quest as well. And you'll have to look for his mug. Uh, his mug will be visible somewhere around this area. Because talking with him now is nice because sometimes you, when you walk this way um, he will be behind this brush over there uh, from the right of us that is a spot he some, sometimes is uh, but uh, not this time though however uh, for now we just ignore it and we walk here there and here are two uh, daily things too you can battle fire breeder wolf but if you talk to that thing over um over here uh looks like a base of a tree or something um you will have to battle yourself but in this instance because i took a lot of damage from that boss uh, the fire breeder uses two magmars by the way uh, which i ideally use my needle king against um, but if you talk to this base uh tree thing uh, you have to battle yourself but it will also heal your whole party and because you battle yourself i recommend using a, a weak mon as your elite because he will have the same order and for this instance i have a chancy because what i can do is bring in chancy and switch to scissor and set up multiple swords dances roost up and just sweep the team um, if you don't have something like that you can use your hm slave and switch to a setup sweeper uh like scissor uh that's just something you could do but yeah so we talk with that thing and as you can see it heals our whole party we have chancy as our lead so and that means we'll face chancy first as well because he will use the same mods we have in our party and then we switch to our glide score uh to our scissor <laughs> sorry to our scissor and we just set up uh three sword stances and just sweep 
And if we get too low, we can just uh, choose to go for the roost so that the opposing scissor doesn't knock us out when we're low. Yeah. I just roost here in case the opponent scissor crits me or something. Uh, you, by the way, I don't knock out the scissor, so I just um, roost again. The, the chance he will drop because it won't have EV light. So it, all these Pokemon, uh, they will use the same Pokemon this thing, but it won't use the same items. So uh, they will all have citrus berries, as you can see now. But they will have the same stats. So it's always a speed die. That's why I recommend using a setup sweeper with a priority move. Scissor. Maybe Dragonite. <laughs> yeah, uh, aside from Scissor, everything should be uh, one hit KO'd. <laughs> Plus six bullet punch. And this will give you 150 XP. And now we can battle Fire Breeder Wall. As I said, he's using two Magmars, so using something that's super effective against it uh, is pretty good. I was planning to train my Nido King as well, that's why I brought it. And he gets 72 XP, which is not too shabby. And now we go inside the lighthouse. Uh, we'll go to uh, the upper floor right there. Because uh, we have to activate the quest to look for Johnny. For Johnny Bravo. And uh, yeah, talk to Keeper Jim. He will give you a quest and then you have to go to the lowest floor. You can choose to uh, click the go to button to get you there. But you cannot go to Johnny. Uh, you have to walk your way there. Uh, he's always on a different spot, but you'll see his name even if he's hiding. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find him. He's, he's going to use a Pikachu. Uh, when you're doing it uh, the first few times, it's still not super high. It's still high level, but after a few times, uh, the Pikachu will become level 100. Don't know if it was level 100 here when I was doing it at the time of this recording. Oh, it's level 100, I see. But still, it's not gonna knock out the Nido King. Uh, yeah, we knock it out. The Pikachu is still weak, even while being level 100. And as you can see, this gives you 95 XP, but if you go back to uh, Gym, or yeah to, to gym you will gain i believe like another 150 xp so you gain a lot from actually doing just this just beating that pikachu and looking for johnny obviously yeah you can just press the go to button from there and it will direct you towards gym And yeah, that's another 150 XP and we went a level up, but we're still not done. Uh, we still have to look for uh, the, the muck. And this will always be different. It's not always on the same spot, so we are activating our repel. And it's important to uh, check everything behind a bush. Because um, you might, it might not be visible. So... Uh, when you bump onto something, uh, Muck is usually there. So just check it out. But as you can see, he's there out in the open. So that's an easy spot at uh, this time. But it's usually not difficult to find him. You just have to look like how I did. And just beat this Muck. 
I will give you some XP. Hundred XP, but you can go back to Mick. And he will give you 55 XP. So that's really nice. And there's one more thing to do here. And let's talk to Fisher Fishermonger Frank. And let me There are three options. And this actually matters. Uh, doing 10 is usually not worth it just because you, you get l very little XP 25 uh, I think you get like 40 or something 30 35 XP no but when you choose 50 it will give you 150 XP and if you talk with Fisher monk Frank again uh, then you get another 10 XP I usually recommend doing uh, choosing the 50 and if you can this is why I prefer doing this uh, with someone else uh, this this routine because at the end you can party up and that will speed up the process because you don't truly have to do 50 because sometimes uh, you go up by 2 when you're doing it solo but I have instances where whenever I did it with someone else I went up by 4 for example and it goes even faster if you do it with two other people. But this is why uh, Radium was doing this together with me. Because now we can party up. <coughs> oh. My bad. As you can see we are in a party now. And we're just beating these magic arps. I really recommend doing this in a party. And... Choosing a mom with mil we can hit multiple mods like we we were using earthquake and the other one uh, using a flying mod meaning it goes faster if you just knock them out in three attacks as you can see it went up by three and yeah just beat magic arts we, we usually run from the tentacle uh, tentacles because they don't add anything for this uh for this daily quest. Yeah, I guess, I guess you guys get the gist of this, and uh, it will basically be the same thing. 18, uh, 13, 15, 21, 24, 32, it still takes some time, but it's 160 XP you're going for. 46, yeah, that's the last one. We go back, get the 150 XP, and talk with this guy to get the last XP, and that's basically the routine. And like I said before, uh, usually I add uh, doing Mewtwo and Ash on it together. Uh, that will give you like 350 to 400 XP, I think. Maybe even more. So that's almost like, if you do those two... Uh, together with this routine, it's like a full level every day. And like I said before, um, when you do all the trainers in Kanto uh, and the league, you'll usually end up at level 60. And then that's without a trainer buff. So if you do this routine with Mewtwo and Ash together, uh, should get you to level 80 in like 10 or 11 days. Um... Yeah, and that's all without doing bounties as well. So, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if you are planning to get to level 100, again, I recommend uh, doing the Safi Islands quest. And doing the runes for 11 days straight so you can go to Naval Rock. And do the quest uh, to gain the item to battle Latios and Latios. Because once you, you um, battle Lugia and ho on Naval Rock... They will give they give 200 uh, XP each. So beating Ho, Ho Ho 200, beating Lugia 200 is 400. Combined with this routine and Lugia uh, and Mewtwo and um, Ash, that's still a lot of XP daily. And you can all you can do all of this definitely with that within an hour. I think this took me like 30 minutes. This routine only without 
uh, Mewtwo and Ash, but if you do Mewtwo and Ash together with it, uh, it should be like 45, 50 minutes. So you can definitely do this within an hour and basically get a level every day till level 80. And I can also allow you to go to your Nova if you need to. So yeah, if it was helpful to you, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, uh, hit the like button. Leave a comment down below as well if you have any recommendations, uh, maybe, maybe some other tips uh, for other people, other players. Um, subscribe to the channel as well as I usually don't do a lot of PvE stuff, but I guess getting up to trainer level is definitely helpful because it will increase your re rewards you'll gain from uh, the PvP ladder because Having a higher trainer level means you will have a higher multiplier on your reward. So you, you'll get more gold, you get more uh, money. Uh, so that's definitely important for PvP as well. So subscribe if you want to see more. And yeah, I'm going to end it up here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and peace out. I'll see you guys next time.